Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Spencer and I'm probably your child's statistics teacher. Yes, I know statistics has a bad name, but guess what? I actually love it. Now I know you hear that from all the teachers. Oh, they just love it. Well, actually I really do. I'll put it to you this way. When I was at Baylor, no one wanted to take statistics. Most people were scared of it. And guess what? I thought the same thing as well. But because of when we registered, I got stuck taking the statistics class early on during college. And in fact, um, most of the students were juniors and seniors, and most were hoping that statistics would drop off the uh, requirements for graduation. But as a business student, it didn't. So I was taking it early on and I actually loved the subject. I liked it enough that I took as many electives in statistics as I possibly could in the business school. Um, later on, I went on and pursued a master's um, in statistics. So that kind of lets you know that I really do like statistics. I, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I met my wife um, while I was at Baylor and we got married the summer before our senior year of college. Uh, not the brightest thing to do on an economic basis, but quite frankly, I love her and she's a wonderful woman. Uh, we have five children together and they're all over the place. I have one at the Baylor graduate, one at Texas A&M. Right now, one working on a master's at Cornell, another at John Brown studying psychology, and I also have an eighth grader. So that's a lot of kids. So consequently, when it came to teaching, I thought that I could teach the material fairly easily because I had such a good understanding of it, but I wasn't sure that I was gonna like kids. I mean, other people's kids. I like my own, but I wasn't so sure about other people's. Turns out that's the best part of the job is the other people's kids. I love your kids, they're wonderful. I am truly blessed by them on a daily basis and I look forward to the day that we actually get to be in class together. Um, I have regular office hours. I want to help all the time. Um, I will run Stat Saturdays, whether it's virtual or in person. Hopefully someday soon they'll be in person and we get to enjoy some tacos together. Um, and the way, the best way to contact me, whether it's your student or it's you as a parent, is through my e campus email. And that email address is L S P E N C 2 at n e i s d dot net uh, please contact me there if your student tries to contact me through google classroom that won't it doesn't work for me um, i won't probably won't even see it so please have them contact me through their email and i will get back to you very shortly um, i have to tell you this year is completely different um, as you have probably been told We've lost 28% of our instructional time by going to the A-B schedule. So essentially, if you think of last year where the kind of the teaching slowed down substantially at spring break, we've lost more time than that this year. So we are covering material at a fairly rapid rate. Consequently, I'm putting together videos constantly and the students need to see those before they come to class, so that they're prepared when they come to class to ask questions. Yes, I do reteach in class but if they um, don't come to class prepared, having looked at the material, even if they don't completely understand it from the video, if they look at it first, it helped them substantially. Um, I do ask that they come in and ask for help. I want them to be successful more than you possibly know, because quite frankly, I love this subject. I will say that statistics is substantially different than any other math class that they've ever taken, because through high school math, generally speaking, it's been a memorization of a process. Um, if you see this, you do this. If this happens, you do this. It's kind of like following a roadmap for most math classes. Now that's not to say it's easy, it's just different. Well, in statistics, this is more of a reasoning class. And I don't tell, you, tell them how to think, I tell them how to take the different ideas that they've learned from all sorts of different subjects and make decisions. And in this year, this is a great year on statistics because it's an election year. We have COVID and it's like, not that COVID's great, not that the election's a whole lot of fun because there's a lot of craziness going on. But we have data and statistics is the study of that data. Um, we kind of emphasize it in this order. We like to collect the data first. 
once we collect it, we display and describe it because a picture is worth a thousand words and it lets us know what we have. Then we try to figure out the probability that we'd actually get the data that we have. And then we get to my favorite part, which is what we call inferences, but really it just means we're making decisions based on that data and that probability. It's the money making side of things. It's like, hey, given that we have data that looks like this and the chance of it happening are this much, what should we do? And that's where we teach hypothesis testing and confidence intervals. And quite frankly, that used to scare students, but it's now probably their favorite part of the course. Um, we've really mapped out wonderful templates. Um, I'm a curriculum writer for statistics for the district. And um, this year, I believe, is going to be a special year. I just ask that the students would try to contact me anytime they get lost. I really do want to help them. Thank you so much for trusting me with your students.